Hello, this is Mr. Hornsby 83 with another edition of Mr. Hornsby 83 Topics. And today, as I mentioned in one of my last videos, I will be talking about my thoughts on E3 and that. And I want to start with the Microsoft press conference with the Xbox One. And the only exciting thing about the whole freaking thing was Killer Instinct. I was nerding out when I said, I'm like, oh my god, I gotta get that. But then they told the price at the end of the press conference. It shows the Star Wars games, Metal Gear Solid, and all that. And I was really excited about Killer Instinct. I can't wait till it comes out. And uh, the price, I guessed it close enough. It's 500 to 600, but God, that's still a lot. I mean, if you count there, if you're getting all the insurance and all that, it's going to be even more. But, uh, it was just, I wasn't too satisfied with Microsoft's press conference. It's just, uh, it's basically the same thing to me over and over. And the Xbox One has not done, showed me anything that impressed me. And I'll probably wait till the price goes down because $4.99, that's just ridiculous. All right, now I'm going to move on to Sony. And I didn't get to see the press conference because I used to watch E3 on G4 and that's how I got all my E3 knowledge. But they ended G4 at the beginning of this year and now it's Esquire. Very dumb move, but anyway. Um, yeah, I heard the PlayStation press conference was pretty good. One thing that did excite me was the fact that they paid up the money and they're going to get an exclusive bundle pack for the uh, GTA 5, which is really good because that's what they need. I mean, GTA started on PlayStation, and I can't believe they let Xbox get all the good stuff in GTA 4. I just that was just crazy. But at least Sony learned from their mistakes, unlike Microsoft. But. But, you know, it's just, I'm really glad. I think, I'm making a prediction right now. I believe PlayStation 4 will win this next gen of the uh, console wars because already they're looking great. They're looking better than Microsoft anyway. Nintendo, ugh. Nintendo ain't been nothing since the 64. And that's really ridiculous. And a lot of the other games they revealed were pretty entertaining. I've seen that the Wii U will have Bayonetta 2, which is fine by me. I mean, my daughter's got it. I might buy it and play the thing. But, hey, I like the original Bayonetta. Hopefully this one's as good as the original. And I really wish, because the E3 stuff I did see, i seen on Spike, because game trailers is affiliated with Spike. And I watched it there, but they only did it one day when they were supposed to come back Tuesday and do it, and they didn't. So I guess, I guess overall E3 was pretty interesting. I, one of these days I'd hope to go to an E3 event, but shoot, it's hard to find anything. But and the reason why on my uh, prediction video I said this would be one of my last topic videos is because. Me and my family have a lot of things planned for this summer, so I'll be pretty busy. But I'll try not to take a very long break, and I'll still try to give the review shows on Saturday night and prediction shows. But, yeah, just the topic shows. I'll try to come back as soon as I can with them. But, uh, we got a plan to go on vacation. We go to Kings Island a lot over the summer and all that. And, you know, there's other things me and my wife and kids do. It's summer, hey. But I'll try not to take a long break. And I'll try to make sure everything's good. And uh, be sure to catch my uh, reaction show either Saturday or Sunday. And then uh, the following week I will have a prediction sh or a review show. I don't know what I'll have, but it'll be something. And um, also, if there's anybody out there in Facebook land, I mean YouTube land, my bad about that. In YouTube land who is local to Northern Kentucky to watch my show. If you want some good pictures on your wedding or something, check out Sheila Hungry's Photography. Uh, she's got a Facebook page as well. Check that out. Um, 
But that'll wrap up my topic show for E3. I really can't say too much because I didn't get to get too much information. I mean, I check GameTrailer.com and that, but they don't give much information. And all I really seen was what they did on mon last Monday for uh, the E3 stuff. But when I do come back with my next topic show, I know I promised it in my last anime video that I would do another one talking about Inuyasha. I will also be talking about Inuyasha, Toonami, my thoughts on that, and whenever I get, whenever my break's over from all the stuff me and my family's got planned this summer, uh, I'll be back on here with that. Uh, thank you, have a good evening, and peace out.